Well, that's it. Pack it up, Fortnite fans. Looks like your game is no longer the most popular in the world. I'm just kidding. You guys are fine. <laughs> For quite some time now, Fortnite has been the number one game in terms of viewership earnings on certain platforms and just general popularity, but no more as the game is seeing some big declines across the board in all three areas. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that Fortnite isn't still one of the world's most popular games, especially in places like the US and Europe. In the eastern part of the world, things are a little bit different. There's actually quite a few games that some of you maybe haven't heard of that I'll be talking about today that are insanely popular and make boatloads more money than Fortnite does, believe it or not. <coughs> <sighs> <sighs> But by and large, if you're watching this video, Fortnite is probably the game that you know as the best game. But that is changing. So I'm going to talk about the three major areas where Fortnite is seeing big declines and losing popularity and not making as much money either. So first off, let's talk about viewership. In 2018, Fortnite became Twitch's most watched game ever. However, it's been on a steady downward trend ever since. So compared to last year, the game's average viewer count on Twitch has dropped by 40%. 41%. And if you look specifically at some of the major events like this June, the post E3 Celebrity Pro-Am, that peaked at 427,000 concurrent viewers. A very respectable number. However, that was a 72% decline to what the Pro-Am got in the prior year. Fortnite is still the number one most viewed game on Twitch and YouTube, but it's slowly losing its edge and other games are starting to catch up to that spot. Specifically, if you look at Twitch, League of Legends is getting closer and closer to bypassing Fortnite for the most average viewed game. But again, Fortnite is still number one. It is the game that most people are watching on YouTube and Twitch. It's just that compared to 2018, there's been major, major drops. And if the trend keeps going the way that it is, that is just going to keep on dipping down. But viewership isn't the only thing we want to look at. Let's talk about the game's earnings. So according to Superdata, which is a research company that ranks the top earning games on PC, console and mobile platforms. Now this past May, they reported that Fortnite made $203 million. Plenty of money, but a 38% drop compared to profits in that month in the year prior. And that was even with the release of a brand new season that month. Even with that said though, in May, it still held the number one earning spot on console, but as of this point, that has changed. They've updated the list and Fortnite has slid to number two on console behind Black Ops Ops 4. Yes, Black Ops 4 is the number one most earning game on consoles at the moment. Now, Fortnite is now number five on PC behind League of Legends, Dungeon Fighter Online, Fantasy Westward Journey Online 2. <laughs> I've never heard of that. And Crossfire, all four of those games on PC earning more money than Fortnite. And if you take a look over on mobile, Fortnite doesn't even make it into the top 10. There are just many more mobile games making a lot more money than Fortnite makes. So when it comes to the platforms, Clearly console is where Epic is making the most money off of this game. When you look at like earnings and stuff, it, it depends on what's going on. Like the company is going to make more when a brand new season pass comes out. But I think it also makes sense that they're going to continue to not make as much over time. The graph is trending downwards and I don't think that's going to change because even with new seasons and new skins and new all sorts of stuff, even if you're playing Fortnite every day, how many years are you going to continue to buy all the new skins and and all the updates every month and every new season. Like eventually people are gonna be like, okay, I got a couple hundred skins now, maybe it's enough at this point. So I don't expect people to continuously be buying new skins all the time, even if they're playing all the time. Even if you're someone who plays Fortnite every single day, you're not gonna keep buying all the new skins every time they come out, cause that's like a lot of freaking money and people can't keep up with that. And then you also have to consider the fact that the game is just losing popularity, not that like, like it's not so popular, but it's not 
seeing that insane growth that they saw in 2018, which is really think when the game peaked, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Even though they've seen reduced earnings in 2018, they did make $3 billion in profit. So I don't think they're hurting that much, even if they're seeing a drop in 38%, they're still making at least a couple billion probably. So I'm sure Epic is feeling just fine. But besides the viewership and besides the earnings, general popularity is going down. Google Trends shows how frequently a given term is searched for on Google platforms. Clearly, as you can see here, it's losing interest. It peaked last year and is steadily going down. And that pretty much just lines up with everything else. Uh, another no way that I know that Fortnite's losing popularity is my 15 year old cousin told me nobody plays that shit anymore. That's about all you need to know. I think it's safe to say that Fortnite peaked in 2018, but by no means is gonna be a dead game. You can't expect continued perpetual growth and Fortnite was a game that reached a point of insane popularity where you heard pretty much everyone talking about the game. And it's especially popular against younger people. Again, it depends on where you're looking. If you're here in the States or if you're in parts of Europe, Fortnite is probably still in, in many people's eyes the most popular game. But if you're taking a look globally, Fortnite doesn't even rank in mobile games. It's only at number five on PC out of the top 10, so it's still making money. And it's dropped from that number one spot on console. Most surprising to me is that Black Ops 4 took that spot. I am astonished that, that I guess that's, that game's got an insane uh, console player base that is spending a lot of money. So it'll, it'll probably go up and down, but a general trend downwards is what it looks like is happening with Fortnite. That's just gonna keep on happening. It, I think there's really no question about that. I think another side of the coin, I, I know for me, especially this is true. I feel like the battle royale hype has just died down. I started really getting interested in the genre with PUBG. I think that's the game that first really brought it into the limelight and then Fortnite Fortnite kind of took the ball from them and ran with it from there. Just in general, I think people are losing interest in Battle Royale games. We saw Apex Legends launch, which pretty impressive success. I don't remember the exact numbers, but I think it was something like 40 to 50 million that they got in the first couple of months or something. Like they saw some insane player base numbers early on. That game also seems to be losing steam quite a bit. Just in general, like Battle Royale, it's a cool game mode. It's a cool new genre that's emerged. People, I think people are just falling off and trying to find other things to do because although the games have their different their different mechanics and different systems within them the general formula for battle royale is pretty much the same and you can play these new games like i was excited when i jumped in apex legends i had a lot of fun but it was still just a battle royale game which was great and i enjoyed it i played it played it for quite a bit i think battle royale just in general people are losing a little bit of interest in the genre uh, looking for something new and exciting to come up you, you gotta hand it to epic they really do a good job with keeping fortnite interesting which the season updates and all the changes to the maps and all the cross promotions and stuff they do maybe at the expense of their development team and overworking them a little bit but i guess they pay them so that makes it okay right it's an interesting conversation again fortnite is by no means not popular it is by no means a dead game it's just not as popular now as it was last year and i think 2018 was the year of fortnite and as time passes the game is just gonna continue that downward trend but that's okay it's an Natural. There's only so many gamers to get to play your game and if everyone played it and got tired of it in 2018 and you have your core player base, which is still a lot of freaking people, maybe that's just the way of things. And you know, I think Epic also quite clearly realizes this because they're making a big push into things that aren't just Fortnite. I mean, look at everything that they're doing with the Epic Game Store. They're dumping tons of money into trying to get exclusive to get people onto their platform. I think it's pretty clear that Epic realizes they can't just hang their hat on Fortnite forever and they're gonna need to uh, find other ways to make money. I mean, they make plenty of money. They, they've got the Unreal Engine, but you know, uh, Fortnite was a major craze. It is still incredibly popular, but it's not number one by all metrics like it was in 2018. Plus, my, my cousin said no one plays this shit anymore, and he's 15, so he knows what's up. So, so you heard it. Nobody plays this shit anymore. <laughs>